Welcome back to Born to Explore. In this week's Site Review Tuesday, we're taking you to Meriwether Lewis Campground in Tennessee. I'm Brandon. I'm Maddie, and we're born to explore. We've spent the last two weeks here at Meriwether Lewis Campground, and it has been amazing. It is so far the best free campsite that we've been at. This campground is actually part of the Notches Trace Parkway, which is a parkway maintained by the National Park Service. It goes from just south of Nashville, Tennessee, all the way down to Notches, Mississippi. So it goes through a few different states and there are all kinds of historical markers all along the route. So there's a total of 36 campsites in this campground and they're all really nice. There are a few that are unlevel. We wanted to figure out what the best campsite would be for us next time and for you guys who have big RVs and trailers. We decided that 16 is our favorite and that's actually the one that we were able to grab and we've been at for two weeks now. Mm -hmm. um, so for smaller rigs like camper trucks and camper vans, we would say site 16 is the best. For bigger rigs like trailers and big RVs, RVs, we'd say camp site 18 is probably the best. It's the most level, it's a pull through spot and right next to the bathroom. So some of the amenities, if you could call them that, that this site offers is a fire ring, which is on a cement block. They clear out all of the ashes each time a camper leaves. So ours was completely ready to go. It has a grill that folds down on top of that. We have an aluminum trash can that gets emptied by national park employees and a picnic table. They also have heated restrooms. They also have a well pump where you can actually get fresh water. One other thing to note is this site does not have full hookups at each individual site. So it is dry camping. It has the amenities we spoke of, but it does not have electric hookups. It doesn't have water hookups other than the well that's right by the bathrooms. They are pet friendly. They require you to have a leash on your animal no longer than six feet. And our cell signal was pretty good. We were able to make calls, even FaceTime, and get on the internet. So we had three bars of 3G with our Verizon service. They do not allow dumping of waste or gray water. I think what really makes this one of the nicest free campgrounds that we've ever seen or heard of is that all of the roads in are completely paved. Mm -hmm. So, and, and like really nicely paved. All of the sites are paved as well. So we were actually able to back up our van right on a perfectly level paved site. So we do have leveling blocks, but we didn't even need them. Another plus to this campground is that there are a few hiking trails that begin right from the campground. There is a little town about 15 minutes away and a Walmart within that town. So that was really nice. We went there every four or five days. One thing I think that we would have liked to have known before we came here was that there is a campground host that maintains the campground, greets all the campers. The first campground host did knock on our door. We pulled in here around 5 p.m on a Friday, I believe, and the campground host knocked on our door by 6 p.m. That was our first knock on the door. So we literally were both standing up in the van at the time, kind of getting things situated. And we heard the knock, you know, all of our windows were sealed up and everything. And we both kind of looked at each other and we're like, okay, now what do we do? Who is this? You know, we didn't expect that. So if you're coming here, just realize that it is a possibility that the campground host will knock on your door, be prepared. Would we stay here again? Most definitely, yeah. super awesome campsite. I look forward to coming back. But as of right now, we have to leave because we've been here the full 14 days. <laughs> yeah. So the rule for this campsite specifically, and I think there's two other campsites along the Notches Trace Parkway um, that you can stay at. I'm pretty sure they're free as well. Mm -hmm. um, you're allowed to stay 14 days at each campground, but you can't exceed 30 days total within a year. So yeah, that's our review of the Meriwether Lewis Campground along the Notches Trace Parkway. If you guys have any other questions about this campsite specifically, please leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. And remember guys, we were born to explore. Good. Yeah. Troy was napping the whole time.